Hi, I'm Chad, and welcome back to Chuck Walla Valley Raceway. I am out here for round three of CVMA's 2022 to 2023 Winter Series. Today is Friday, free practice. So I slept in a little bit, let the track warm up. I'm gonna be heading out here shortly for, I believe, the fourth session of the day, four out of seven. So I'm gonna have four sessions to get reacquainted with this direction of the track. It's been two years years since I've ridden Chuck Wallet counterclockwise. The last time that I did was actually on my Tuono V4RR back in December of 2020, so it has been truly two years. I've picked up a lot of speed since then. The Daytona is a lot different than it was in September 2020, which is the last time I had it here in this direction. So it's going to be an interesting day. Really looking forward to seeing what I can do on the bike and just how the changes I've made to it and the improvements that I've made in my own skill are going to get me around the track faster. Don't really have a target for today. I'd be happy with a 58 or a 57 by the end of the day. But I'm just going to go out and see. Practice on the used tires that I have from the last round. Probably change out the rear tonight so that for practice and qualifying tomorrow, I have a fresh rear tire. And I'll change the front out before the races. So with that, let's go get geared up and get on out there.
the fourth session of the day. And I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video that I'm in the fast group. So as you saw, I got passed by a lot of people pretty aggressively, which was pretty cool to see. But at the same time, I'm just like, man, do I belong here? Like, it's pretty crazy. The pace is very quick. So I got down to a 57.56, which is great. That's faster than I was hoping for. I was looking for a 58 mid or low today. So 57's off to a great start in the first session. Maybe we'll see a 56 by the end of the day, who knows, but bike's feeling good. I'm feeling a little rusty. It's been a little while since I've ridden sportingly, not since the last round at the end of October. So it's been a little over a month since I've been on track and I haven't really been doing anything to kind of keep my body loose and limber. So here's what it is. We'll dust off those cobwebs today and be in a better spot for tomorrow and Sunday. Something else to note too, it is a little chilly today. Actually, the air temperature right now is pretty good at 67 degrees. It was 47 first thing this morning when the sun came up, so it was a little bit chilly. We've had a lot of cloud cover today, so the track hasn't gotten a ton of heat into it. So it is a little slippery out there. It isn't too discomforting, but it is something to be mindful of. And it does look like there is a slight chance of rain later today, so we'll see how that plays into things. I don't have a set of wets, and it might just drizzle too, which really wouldn't make that much of a difference. But just interesting to see how the conditions change things. So something a few of you have asked is how conditions will play into choice of tires, tire pressure, so on and so forth. So today I'm just on the same set of tires for my last race weekend. They're Pirelli Diablo Superbike Slicks, SC1 front, SC1 rear. So they're soft compounds and they're working pretty nice out here. Generally speaking, you want to match a tire to the conditions, uh, such as air temperature, track temperature, the surface of the track. And Chuck Wall is a pretty coarse surface, so it does wear tires a little fast if you're on softer compounds, but they still work nicely here. You would definitely get a little bit more life out of a medium just because the rubber is harder, and you might get close to as much grip as you would on a soft, but that's kind of the compromise there. You go for the soft tire, get a little bit of extra grip, which is great considering that we're only running six lap races here. You don't really need a tire that's gonna last a long time, unless of course you wanna to try to make a tire last a day or a weekend or so on. The other thing too is pressures. So I'm no expert on this stuff. I'm running just the same pressures I always run. 37 in the front, hot off the warmer, 23 in the rear. But being that the track is a little bit cooler, a lower pressure would probably be good. So I'm already at the lower limit of what's recommended for the Pirelli slick in the rear. I'm a little bit over in the front, but that's also because I'm a big boy, as we know. I'm kind of heavy, so I like that extra bit of support that I can get through the front tire by having just a little bit higher of a pressure up there, and that's been feeling good. The rear has slipped around on me a couple times, and then over a couple little uh, inconsistencies in the surface, just lines that follow the turns of the track. I've slipped a little bit on both tires, but just for a fraction of a second, you just kind of loosen up, let the bike do its thing, it'll sort itself out. But for the pressures, you can run a slightly lower pressure, and in my head, the way that I think that would benefit you would be that the tire can get hotter because there's less air in it to heat up, so that way it'll stick a little bit better, but obviously you don't want to go too low or you risk overheating the tire. And then my understanding is that in hotter conditions, the adverse of that stands true, so you want to run a slightly higher pressure because there's more air to get hot and the tire won't overheat and will be a little bit more consistent over the course of a few laps or a race. For the Pirelli slicks, for the sizes that I run, 120, 70, 17 in the front, and 190, 60, 17 in the rear, they recommend a range hot off the warmer of 32 to 36 PSI in the front and 23 to 26 PSI in the rear. Again, as I just said, running 37 in the front, a little bit of extra stability and support for my big self, and then 23 in the rear for that grip. So I hope that's helpful, but I'm gonna rest up now and get ready to go back out for another session. Hopefully we'll be able to improve on that 57.56.
So that's doing pretty good. That was on lap three, I believe, that last session. So nice, feeling good. I'll use tires as well. So I'm gonna go out for one more session, and then after that, I'm gonna take my rear wheel off, put a freshie on for tomorrow for practice qualifying in my first two races. We'll see if I need to put another one on for Sunday, but I might try to just limp through it with one tire. We'll see. I'm definitely gonna change the front out after qualifying for my first two races tomorrow, but we'll see how the strategy goes. So far, everything's feeling pretty good. Track got a little bit warmer. It was it wasn't like ice cold, but it definitely wasn't like hot like it was the last time we were out here. Conditions were perfect then. It's a little bit cooler, but there's still grip out here. So. All right, so didn't end up getting the most riding in today, but the couple sessions that I did, I was feeling really good. Really excited to get out there and get racing tomorrow. See what I can do in qualifying. See if I can find that 55. But it's been a great day. So with that, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would sincerely appreciate a gentle little click of the like button. And if you consider subscribing for more motorcycle racing content like this, drop a comment below. Thinking about racing? Give it a shot. Ask me any questions down in the comments. Happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. And I hope to catch you in the next one coming up in just a couple days. Until then, later.